Hey everybody, this is Ori from AstroWeb and I'm going to introduce to you the Shopify built-in local pickup, curbside pickup, storefront pickup feature, which is basically a delivery method. So uh, this is a new feature, this is 2020, um, and uh, a lot of uh, businesses now want to add a new local pickup, right? So come to the store, pick up as long as you've paid before, pick it up, take the product, and finish instead of shipping it to your house. So shipping to your house would use like DHL, FedEx, etc. Local pickup would, after the order is created, a customer would get an email say, hey, come to this address, etc. So I'm going to show you um, the concepts and how to set it up and how it works. Okay. So first of all, what I want to do is I want to go to settings and I want to enable it. So settings and shipping. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go here and I'm going to go to the additional delivery methods and I'm going to look at this thing called local pickup. And here it's going to list all of my warehouses, right? So if you have warehouses, you would go here, settings, locations, and these are the warehouses that are configured. I have two, for example, this is for multi warehouse, this thing. Okay. So I'm going to go back to settings and going to go to shipping and I'm going to enable it. If you've never enabled this before, you're going to have a button here called setup. You're going to click on it and then you're going to follow steps, which basically brings you right here. So let's say I only want to, I have two locations, two warehouses or two storefronts and then my inventory is here and they can pick it up from here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go, for example, to this one, I'm going to click on manage and I'm going to say, oh, I can offer a local pickup here and I'm going to fill up the settings, which is very basic. For example, they can pick it up four hours after the order and then the order notification, once they get an order notification, it'll tell them some instructions. What do they need to do when they come? For example, bring your ID. Okay, so then you can edit this. I'm going to click on save. If I want to enable it for the other one, I can also do this here. Click enable, fill it up. But for now, I'm only going to allow this. So when you did this, there's additional delivery method. So when the customer goes to check out, they can select either ship it to you, to themselves, or they can select to pick it up locally. So let me show you how it works and how you actually process an order and how the customer experiences this okay so let's go here right here and i'm going to go as a front end as a customer and i'm going to go and i'm going to browse a site and i'm going to find a product and i want to go buy it okay so here i click on add to cart i'm going to go to my shopping cart okay and i'm just going to proceed to checkout so let's click on checkout right here now here, here you're going to see the, the different things. So because we've enabled pickup, there's no uh, just delivery. There's also a pickup right here, right? So let's go here. I'm going to put my email in. I'm going to click on pickup. Now you see all of the available warehouses, locations are here. And here's my message. Usually ready within four hours, right? And the shipping is free. By default, the Shopify pickup in store, curbside pickup, it only has a free shipping. You cannot currently add some extra fees for that. Okay, so I'm going to continue payment. And this is a temporary, this is a, a demo store just for the videos I'm creating. Um, and this credit card is a fake one. So uh, don't worry about it. In, but in the real one, they'd have to make an order and pay. Okay, so I'm just going to make up something and put some stuff and I'm going to make an order. Let's do this and select this and I'm going to make an order. Okay, great. So now, now I made an order. Now, the order will be processed, assuming it, went, it goes through. Now I'm going to get an email notification. Okay, so I got all my information. You'll receive an order when your order is ready for pickup. Okay, because the warehouse needs to, you know, pick and pack, take a, p a packing slip, uh, get the box, put everything together, and then notify the customer. So let's look at it. So now, as a customer, I should receive an email, right? So I got an email. Okay, this is just my normal email, and I got my confirmed email. Okay, great. So now I got my confirmed email. Now, let me go back. Let me go to the admin right here, back end. I'm going to go to orders. Now, when you look at your order grid, you'll be able to see this icon right here. This is an icon that the order should be picked up in store. If you notice, it was paid, but it is unfulfilled. So I'm going to click on it. And I'm going to go and I'm actually going to prepare for pickup. I need to prepare it, right? My, my packing slips. Okay, so I'm going to click here, prepare. And now I have my information. I can print the packing slip right here. Okay, so I can print it and I can go to my warehouse, do what I normally do. I have the paper, I go, 
I find the product, I put it in the box, I put the stickers, I print, you know, all of, all of the process that you do, you do that, okay? Then what I want to do is when the product is ready, the box is ready, I'm going to send a notification to the customer. So first of all, I wanted to show you that I can also customize this email. This will send an email to the customer that just ordered. How do you customize that email? You go to settings, notifications, and you go to, I'm going to search for pickup. Okay, so there's two emails. One is this one, which is when it's ready for order, ready, send the notification. It's ready for pickup, you're going to go here. So this is the notification. This is the subject line. This is the content. You can change that if you know HTML, if not ask developer. Okay. The other one is, so I'm going to go ahead and click on send notification. When I did it, it was sent right here. And then if you notice, it is ready for pickup. So let me go here. Let me go back. Okay. Now it's ready for pickup. You see there's an extra, it's kind of difference. It's half full if you notice that right there. Okay. So now as a customer, I should get an email. Let's see that I got an email. Great. I got the email. It says, hey, you're ready. This was the instructions we set up in the in the settings, if you remember. And then here's the address. Great. Okay. So now I'm going to go here. It's ready. Now uh, let's assume the customer went to the curbside. I got it. They beeped for me or they came in or whatever. I give them the package. I come back and I mark it as picked up. Okay. Mark it as picked up. And that's it. My order should be complete. Let's look at this. Okay. So it looks like this picked up. Let me go here. That's it. It was paid. It was fulfilled. Everything's good. I finished. I can move on to the next order. So that's basically it. This is everything you need to know about this basic functionality, uh, curbside pickup and, uh, you know, you know, basically pick up in your store. Hope you enjoyed this video. It's really simple. If you have any questions, let me know. Um, in the future, we'll make third-party app extensions, all these things like delivery dates and other things. We'll get into it. Um, once I create it, I'll link in this video. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, let me know. I really appreciate you guys listening to my videos. Uh, thank you again. Really appreciate it.